The second method I want to go over is called the scatter plot method. And like the name implies, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take all of this data and we're going to plot it on this graph here. So the output, the number of cars, it's always on the x-axis. And then the total cost is always going to be the y-axis. And this is all in millions. And so when you take these points and plot them, this is basically how the graph is going to look. Maybe not as to scale because I made it on a whiteboard, but this is the general shape that you should get here. And so what you want to do here is you want to draw a line basically that goes through most of the data here. Now notice that this point here, this is some kind of outlier, right? This point is here. It's the 4 million and you only had to pay 3 million. That was your cost. So I don't know what happened there. Maybe the workers that month in uh, July, they were just super motivated and you got a lot more pr productivity in. So your cost was lower, that could be a potential explanation. You can also have outliers where you could have a high cost for a certain number of output compared to the average. So that could be like maybe something happened in the factory. So different explanations for different outliers. But this one is here, you got a low cost for a certain output, which is good. So. What you can do is you can maybe even ignore this outlier when you're making this line. So if I make this line here, maybe it looks something like that going through most of the points. Maybe it should be a little bit more slanted to go through these points a little bit more. But uh, yeah, you just make basically the best line that you can that goes through the data. But notice here how I'm, I'm uh, kind of estimating this. So that's actually one of the issues with the scatter plot method is that it's subjective. Right? It's not very objective. Like the high low method, we actually did math to get that equation. And the next method, the least uh, regression analysis, is going to be very objective as well. This method, the scatter plot method, it's very subjective, right? I'm just kind of drawing the best line I can. But the advantages to it is that it's quick. The other advantage is that you can see outliers visually, right? Notice that this is an outlier. So we can maybe ignore that outlier. We'd have to get an explanation of why that happened. And if the reason that that happened is not going to continue in the future, then we can maybe ignore that outlier. And I'm going to show you in the next method how ignoring an outlier, it makes your equation more accurate. And so from here, if you want to get an equation, you would basically just estimate the slope. So you can maybe take, uh, you could start with the B value. So this would be like 5 million. Right, so we know that that's going to be the fixed cost we're estimating there. Um, and then what you can do is you can maybe pick two points. So we could pick this point, which is zero and five million. Right, just put an M there, and you could pick another point on the line. So maybe this point here. This point was what five? It was, um, yeah, it was the five sixty. 9.925 million, right? So we got this 560 and then 9.925 million. You could maybe find the slope between those points to get that M value, right? So basically you're just estimating this equation and probably best to estimate the fixed cost first and then use that fixed cost as a point and then another point to find the slope. Again, the issue with this method it's very subjective, but one of the biggest advantages is you could spot outliers.